Okay, now let's see how to install this retro documentary pack onto this motion gallery extension. So as you can see, I've already installed it. So let me uninstall it first. Just click on this package icon over here and you will find this retro documentary pack along with other packs you have installed over here. So just right click on the pack you want to uninstall and from here you can remove this one. Just click on this remove and hit OK. And it will remove from your system. Okay, now let's install this one. So uh, you can install it in a couple of ways. You can click over here and install package and navigate to your downloader folder and select the MG pack and it will install. But I like to drag and drop over here. So you can just go over here and just double click on this. Let's go back in the beginning. So this is a zip and this is the folder you have unzipped. Open up that, open up the install pack and then you'll find this retro documentary.mg pack. So you need to install this mg pack in this motion gallery installer. So just drag and drop over here and it will be installed over here. So this take a, um, will take a bit moment depending on the size of the pack. And once you install, you will see this documentary pack over here already installed. Now you just double click on it and it will be opened up with all of these subcategories over here. So you can hover over there to see what seasons over here. So now let's demonstrate one by one over here. Now a quick note, this template is optimized for full HD versions. So if you are working with 1920 1080p documentary presentations, I would not recommend this for 4K because uh, most of the scenes are not optimized for 4K. Uh, you can use the titles for 4K, that's not an issue. But uh, a lot of these scenes are not optimized for 4K because these pre-made scenes are full HD. So I'm just going to create a composition over here. So this will be full HD and 30 seconds is okay. Okay, I have created a composition and this is full HD compositions with 30 frames per seconds. And I have named it a test. So I'm just going to apply these elements in this test composition. Okay, now let's take a look what elements this pack contains. So at first we'll find these simple scenes. So if you go inside the simple scenes, you'll find more subcategories. And these are this image grid, image with info, page flip, page shift, page fly in, perspective scenes and Polaroid. So let's just go inside in each category and you can see the animations by hovering, hovering over it. Okay, so you get the idea. Okay, so I will apply uh, some of this later. For now, just let's take a look at this category. So this is the image with info. So this is pretty useful category. And then page flip. As you can see, you can combine them, stack them on top of each other to create a book kind of animation for your doc documentary. And the page shift is also pretty nice, pretty subtle animations, but it will look pretty fine. Okay, like so. And then uh, I will go to this page fly in. Okay, so this is pretty self explanatory. Um, perspective scene. Okay, so this looks pretty good over here. So let's go to the next to the Polaroid. As you can see, there is a plenty of good Polaroid animations which you can use. Okay, now you can go back to the main scene over here. Next, you will find these heavy effects. So this is the simple effects and you have seen that they don't have too much effects on top of it. And those are simples and these heavy effects will have a lot of effects on top of it. Okay, so if you just double click on it, you'll find plenty of category, chaotic, newspaper, dark newspaper, document files, film reel, newspaper freeze, photo collages and projector. So let's check. So this is chaotic. As you can see, you can drop your media behind it, it will work and you can change the text. And there's plenty of scenes which you can combine. And then you will find this dark newspaper. Okay, you get the idea. Okay, then you will find this document files. So these are some pretty document file animation, which you can use to showcase your documentary. And what's good about this uh, pack, you can replace this page completely to your custom page. So if you add a custom page, uh, the entire scene will be changed. You can scan your page, A4 size page, and drag and drop the placeholder, it will be replaced. Or if you don't have your scan page, you can just uh, replace the placeholder and change the text. It will work fine. But then, let's go back. I will find this film reel. As you can see, you can place your uh, drop zones, you can place your own media. Like so. Okay, then uh, if I just go to this newspaper freeze, this one is pretty cool. This uh, freeze animation over here, so you can showcase uh, some moving video and they will freeze to completely new newspaper, like so. 
but there is plenty of uh, presets over here which you can use let's go back and check the next one photo collages okay i'm just gonna go through quickly on top of everything okay then just go to next and this is the projector this is pretty pretty useful as you can see like so okay so the heavy effects is done now there's a title section if you open up this title section you will find this uh, plenty of subcategories so this is the brush, brush lower thirds as you can see it's pretty useful and then you will find this call out so there's a call out over here coming from all direction okay then this one okay after that you will find this film credits so this one's pretty cool you will find a plenty of good film credits over here uh, which professionally animated and it will look very nice on your scene okay here's a plenty of designs over here you can also use this end credit roll over here okay, go to next we'll find this self resizable title so you can type whatever you want the text box will be self resized and it will look very nice when you are trying to mix and match the scenes over here and it will be less hassle for you to edit this and then you will find a plenty of simple title which you can combine to create your own design okay, there's plenty of design as you can see okay now if i just go over here um, all of these categories are covered if i just go back you will find a frames in the frame you will find frame with effects and frame clean frame with effects will have effects on top of it as you can see like so and the frame is completely clean frame okay you get the idea okay next go back and find this multi frame there is a couple of multi frame which you can use okay and next you will find this interview frame so sometimes you need to have some interview frames um, to showcase your interview so you can do that and change the text over here okay then if i just go back you find some simple graphs so graphs are very useful for documentary you can uh, display plenty of things over here you can compare things and it has a variety of graph animations over here as you can see this is the bar animations okay and then uh, i will find this line line graph okay and then we'll find this uh, pie graph over here so as you can see it has a good potential to use and then if you have some population thing to display you can display it over here okay next you will find this element section uh, this is pretty cool you can showcase some arrows some circles and something like that this is a distance counter okay this line this is year counter and this is the year timeline so you can use them and then you will find this overlay effects so this section is very handy and you might need to use this to combine with the simple scenes so for now as you can see there is a film roll light leak and there will be moving texture something like that and noise scratch okay so you can uh, combine those on top of any image and they will look um, grungy and will bring back the uh, retro look on top of your footage and after that the vhs section will be start okay from here you will find uh, 30 different vhs looks so if you want to add vhs looks on top of your footage you can do that there will be plenty of VHS looks from simple to chaotic as you can see so you can go through and apply them depending on your need okay then if I just go back you will find this color correction so this is very useful there is 90 plus color correction scenes over here which you can dis display just by hovering over it Okay, and you can apply them just by double clicking on it. Okay, then you will find these small motions. These small motions are uh, a kind of presets which you need to apply on top of your footage or video and it will apply on top of it. So it will look good and give you subtle movement to your image or footage to enhance the look. Then you will find this document highlighter. This is pretty useful as you can see. You can add up to five lines or you can disable any lines you want 
and highlight your text. You can change the colors as well. Okay, then you will find the transition section. Here you will find a couple of handy transitions. As you can see, chromatic aberration and fade and shade. Shade one is pretty cool. Okay. And split vintage. Vintage is also pretty fine. As you can see. And there's a couple of other things as well like slide, stretch, zoom, etc. So this is the entire pack and with this pack you can come mix and match and create a documentary very easily. But let's uh, add some of the scenes over here. Okay, I'm not gonna go through all of these elements, drag and drop in the timeline, that's gonna take a long time. I will just show you the short process. So first I'm gonna apply this transition. Let's see how to apply them. Well, let's suppose I want to add some shade over here. So whatever layer you select in the timeline, and if you just double click on the transition, it will apply on top of the layer. Okay. And click OK. And you can you have to set this joint in the between the cuts. And if you want to increase or decrease the duration, you can do that from here. Okay. And if I just play back, see you can turn off the sounds from here, like so. So in the same step, you can drag and apply any transitions you want and just put them in injunction of your two clips. Okay, now uh, I'm just going to go back and let's check some other things. Let's check this small motion over here, so as you can see. Let's add this move down. So for that, just go to the beginning of your footage or image and just click on this. It will apply on top of it. And if you just play back, you will see it will add a subtle movement. And after that, you have to add another image so just select both of them then you can press alt close bracket or option close bracket to cut it and you can add the next image and then select this image over here and add another one let's suppose this one i'm just going to double click on it and i'm just going to place it over here and if you just see that like so now you can add um, more elements on top of it to make it more engaging. So you can go to this overlay effect and let's go to the top and select nothing so that it can apply on top of it. So I can add some this noise scratch and I can add some moving texture on top. Also I can add some camera wiggle over here. I'm just going to select this moving texture, hit T on my keyboard and bring down the opacity like 50 and now if I just play back, see it looks nice. You can also add some frames, it will look good. Let's, let's go to frame over here, frame, clean frame and you can add this one, just double click on it and just bring it in the front and bring down underneath the moving texture and noise scratch over here before the uh, rotation effect see with a couple of clicks you can create a, a, such a good scenes over here so these are um, plenty of possibilities which you can add and mix and match so now let's uh, delete this for now and let's take a look at the scenes so these scenes are pre-made scenes you can just go inside uh, let's take this image with info and just double click on the scene and it will be applied over here so as you can see, you can check the animation. Uh, once you apply this, it will apply as a composition. So because this is a pre-made scenes, so now just double-click on it, and it will be opened up in this composition. And here you can change the text. Okay, you can type your text whatever you want, and all of the animation will be intact. Okay, and you can change this text as well. And for the image, just double-click on this image composition over here. And this is a demo image you can delete this and drag and drop your image over here and of course you can use videos as well so if i just go back you will see everything will be updated for the color controls um, all of these compositions will have their own control there so if you select it they will have their own controls over here so you can change the arrow color change the arrow position uh, arrow scale frame color or if i change it over here you can see background color texture opacity so all of 
the scene will have their own control layer so do check it from there so after that let's suppose you want an interview screen we'll just go back and go back over here you have an interview screen over here let's double click on it and let's suppose you want to showcase this one just double click on it like so and then we will showcase like that you can go inside um, open up this image, add your image over here, image or video, and then there's a text uh, which will you can type your name and his designation over here. Just double click on it and add name here, and you will see uh, the text box will be automatically resized. And for the colors, you can go to this control layer, and from here, you can change, uh, you can turn off the text and change the colors, etc. So, you get the idea, you can go back. Uh, the simple scenes and you can add some other scenes like perspective scenes polaroid etc okay, now let's take a look at some heavy effects uh, in here let's suppose you want to use this um, newspaper freeze if i just go inside and double click on this newspaper freeze okay once you apply this newspaper freeze over here like you can just double click on it and you will see uh, the animations will play here if i scrub through after a certain point the video will be freeze and the newspaper will be revealed over here you can uh, bring this quality to full to check it clearly but i will recommend make it to quarter or third whenever you are editing so that the timeline can be faster okay so i have bring a video over here so i'm just going to double click on this paper one over here and double click on this video and just going to remove or disable this uh, image placeholder and drag and drop a video over here and if i just go back to this main scene and you will see it will animate completely fine after a certain point the video will be freeze and the newspaper will be revealed now you can go inside and type your text double click on the text composition and you can type your text change the font change color go back open up the next and you can type here as well so in the same step all of these newspaper will be edited in the same way so in this way you can uh, add more scenes on top of each other to create the promo okay, now as you can see uh, you have this dark newspaper promo over here and that also has the same kind of settings and then you will find these photo collages the same concept double click to apply open open and change the placeholders and the text holders so you, you get the idea over here if i just go back now for the titles it's very easy so let's just apply uh, some simple scenes and then i will apply some titles on top of it so let's suppose I'm just going to go over here and add some page shifts over here. Okay, so I'm just going to double click in that, and as you can see, it has uh, it don't have any placeholder inside, so you can add your placeholder. Double click on that, go to the image, and drag and drop your image over here. I'm just going to resize it, go back, do the edit. Okay, now you can add some titles on top of it. Let's go back to the title section. I'm just going to open up some self resizable title over here. So it's going to double click on that. As you can see, uh, it has plenty of good self resizable title. Okay, if I just play back now, see, you can place them wherever you like. You can select any point from here and press and hold shift on your keyboard to resize it proportionally. And you can move this anywhere you like, like so. So if I just play back, see, you can create the narrative very easily. Now you can add some elements if you like, or you can add callouts if you want. So let's add it. I'm just gonna decrease the duration a bit, like so. And also I'm just gonna scale this down a bit, place it here. Now if I just play back, see? You can change the text color so that it can be much more visible. If you change it to black, it will be much more visible. So in this way, you can uh, show the narrative very easily. In the same way, you will have some brush lower thirds, film credit pack, and simple titles. Simple titles will also be very useful. If you want to showcase your title or even for lower third, it is very useful. So if I delete the bottom two, and you can just scale this down a bit. If you check that, it looks nice. And if you, are, if you want to use for lower thirds, you can also do that. Just select it something like that place it over here let's add another one let's suppose this one i'm just going to put this one down over here and just like that resize this as well and place it here now i can double click on the 
each of this text title and type the name over here okay and then go back and you can open up that sorry not that one this one and type designation and in this way you have created a beautiful load card see and the duration is of course controllable like so So as easy as that. So I'm not going to go through on all of these designs. You get the idea. You can just double click on anything like this multi frame. Just apply. Just add the placeholders and it's done. And in the same way, interview screen will also work. Okay. And let's add some VHS effect over here. So I'm just going to go to the beginning and let's select some of the VHS effect. Let's select this one. This one is pretty uh, basic. And will give you good results as you can see if I make this one half and play back see it looks pretty nice over here uh, you can go inside and you can change the text over here as you can see it has a play and a date section you can change the text or remove the text if you want or add whatever text you want over here so so this is for the VHS you can go and add another VHS let's suppose this black and white if you want to uh, make some footage very old, looks very old, you can do that. As you can see, instantly it will turn into a very dark and old features. So there's a couple of good features over here which you can use depending on your need. And then you will find some color correction. So you can just double click on it and let's apply some of them. Let's suppose this one, double click. As you can see, it has been changed. Let's apply this one. See, the looks has been completely changed. Let's try a couple of more over here. This one over here looks nice. This one, as you can see, with just a few clicks, you can create your instantly color graded footage over here. Okay, now let's take a look at the document highlighter. Let's double click on this and uh, let's up apply the timeline. I'm just gonna double click on this, and as you can see, it will work like that. Let's open up that. And in the image, you have to place your document over here. Okay, so you have your document, just place it over here. So I have imported this image from Google. So I'm just gonna place it over here, something like that. You can resize the composition size if you want. Let's go to composition and composition settings. And from here, you can increase the size. I think for me, I need to increase the size of height a bit. So let's uh, 1150. Okay, I think. It's need more so 1250. I think it's fine. All right, now I'm just gonna go back. And if I scroll down, you'll see it will from here it will animate in. Now, if you select this control layer, you find the overall scale. So, sometimes you need to scale things up a bit more at the end. So, whenever you zoom in, it will zoom up very close, but sometimes you need to a bit further away. So depending on your need and the document, so you have the ability to control from here. So for me, it's fine. And let's add uh, two highlighter and this these two lines over here. And I will hide the other three over here. So from here, you can see highlighter one, two, three, four, five. So I'm just gonna hide this five, it's four and three. Okay, so this has been hidden. Now I, I have only this one and two. So I can control the position and scale from here. So by that, I will put them in the first two line over here. So let's do this. I'm just gonna select both of this position and scale and drag this over here. Maybe scale this like this a bit. Position on the left side, like so. I'm just gonna make it down over here, like so. And then I will go to the next highlighter as well. And if you want, you can uh, control the thickness from here, highlight the thickness. Just make this one 30, as you can see, it will be highlighted. Now let's play back over here. As you can see, it looks nice. Now you can come over here and of course change the color. You can change it to red or any color you want and it will be changed. So that's for the document highlighter. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you get the point of using this. And again, it is just a tip of iceberg. You can do a lot of things with this pack. You can create your entire presentation very nicely. So if you need any other support, feel free to contact me. I will be happy to answer. 